welcome to Greek Cooking by Katerina. In this video I'm going to show you how to make Uvetsi. It's a traditional recipe, a dish that you can find in most uh, Greek tavernas and today I'm going to show you how you can make it at home for your family. The basic two ingredients in Uvetsi is the beef. Uh, so you will need to go to your butchers and get a kilo of nice beef for stew. And the orzo. In Greece we call the orzo klitharaki. Um, then you will need one onion. Uh, either put it in the food processor or chop it up, whatever you like. You will need a clove of garlic, crushed. 500 milliliters of tomato puree. You will need tomato paste, concentrated toma tomato paste, uh, one teaspoon. Definitely olive oil. We'll need the olive oil to saute the, in the, the uh, sorry, the beef. You will need about half a cup of good red wine. You will need four whole pimentos, two bay leaves, and I also use vegetable stock. You can use chicken stock or uh, beef stock, and of course salt and pepper. So what we're gonna do now? We're gonna move to the stove and turn the heat on and start cooking. Okay, so here we are. Turn the heat on. Uh, use either a deep uh, pan or use a pot, a cooking pot. Add the olive oil. And saute the onion and the garlic. when our onion is sautéed. There we are, so piece by piece add the meat in your cooking pot. And brown it until it has a nice color. Okay, so brown the meat, flip it over on the other side, and let it brown from this side too. So move it around after flipping it over until it gets nice and brown. Okay, now that the beef is nicely browned, it's time for us to add the wine. Let the aroma evaporate, let the alcohol evaporate and let the aroma go into your soup. Oh, the smell is unbelievable, it's really nice. So at this stage, we can add the tomato puree. This is half a liter of tomato puree, tomato sauce. We will add the tomato paste. Stir. Okay. Add the pimentos. Add the bay leaves. Add the vegetable stock and we might need to add a bit of water to help our stew cook. At this stage we can add salt and pepper. Add salt and pepper to taste. Now we will lower the heat 
and we will let them to simmer for at least one hour or until you see that the, your beef is cooked and it's nice and soft. Okay, so after an hour and a half, because that's what it took for our meat to become soft and nice like that, uh, the meat is done, it's cooked. Uh, you will need to remove uh, the bay leaves and if you can find the, the pimentos, you can remove the pimentos as well. I found a couple of them here floating. Okay, and now the next step is you take your pan that goes in the oven. And flip the pot in there. Careful not to make a mess. Okay. See, the meat is already nice and soft, so we will finish our food in the oven. See how you can separate it already. Very nice and soft. And now you take your orzo and place it around in the pot like that. Your orzo needs to cook in there. So you just move it around and make sure that it is covered. You will need to add a little bit of water to help it cook. You can try the sauce, not now, before, and see if you need to add some salt and pepper. I tried it already, it's perfect, it doesn't need anything according to my taste. So the next step is to take the pan and uh, put it in the preheated oven. Preheat your oven at 180 degrees Celsius. Uh, and just uh, put the pan in there for about 35 minutes until your order is cooked. Okay, so place uh, your pan in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about 35 minutes or until your orzo is cooked. There we are, our new fancy is ready. Uh, you will need to see if uh, you have to add some water. There you go. So while baking you will need to see if you uh, have to add some water. Now we are ready to serve. You have to let it stand for a few minutes for the liquid to uh, absorb. See how nice it is? Look at the color on the meat. Okay. Don't forget the feta cheese. And also if you have some grated cheese that goes very very well like kefalotiri or any hard cheese, any hard pig cheese. Mm. Okay, let's see what we've done. See, the meat is very soft, really soft. Mmm, it's fantastic, really nice. Drizzle some um, olive oil, fresh olive oil, and some fresh pepper, and it's perfect. So that was my video, my recipe for today. You see the Juventus turned out very, very nice and yummy. You have to try it yourselves. If you like my recipe, Give the video a like, a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so we can cook together from now on. Thank you, I'll see you next time at Quick Cooking by Katarina. Bye!